In the planning process, I started out with planning routines and in 2021, I experimented a lot with what works for me, what doesn't work for me. So now I was changing few things up, adding few new habits and all that stuff. I started with routines because routine helps us to create positive daily habits and also it makes us more productive, more structured and keeps us on track and we can organize our time around the things we want to do and make ourselves more happy and stay creative. Now it was time for me to start reflecting on 2021 because we were going to set goals for 2022 really soon. So I like to reflect before actually setting the goals so I know what were my goal setting flaws for the last year, what didn't work for me, what did work, what should I improve. So reflecting always helps. And I used few prompts like what goals I didn't accomplish and what goals I accomplished this year and like the goals I didn't accomplish, why I couldn't do it and are they relatable, like do are they relevant to me or are they not important and then where like prompts like what really worked out this year, what didn't work out, what drained my energy the most and how I am a better version of myself from the beginning of 2021 versus at the end of the year how my life evolved in 2021 and how I am a better person than the beginning of 2021. So I'd like to read out my answers, like some of my answers, because I think they are the big part of the Glow Up series and I think um, how I'm becoming a better person, these answers actually reflect that, so I'd like to read it out loud. So the first I would like to read out loud is, how is my life different from the beginning of 2021? How am I a better me today than I was at the beginning of 2021? So my answer to this was, at the beginning of 2021, I was still a person who holded on to people because they were important to me. I was afraid to let go. I was afraid to keep up that relationship. I was afraid that I will get hurt again. This only affected my mental health. But now I am prioritizing my mental health over anything. If keeping myself happy and healthy means letting a relationship down or a person down, I do it. Because I am the one who should be taking care of myself first. I am the one who is responsible for my own happiness. I experimented with lots of new study methods and finally I found a few which actually work for me. At the start of the year, I wasn't so happy with my editing and video style, but now I love it. I've improved so much. I've started my glow up journey, which I'm loving and can't wait to continue. I also adopted a dog on my own responsibility. I'm taking care of her and she's making my life so much better, which is definitely like one of the good decisions and it has made me a good decision maker, a planner and a bit more responsible person. I was and I am a much better, stronger and responsible person than 2021 beginning me. Now that I was done with reflecting on 2021, it was time for setting my goals for 2022. And it was such an amazing and fun process. I absolutely love setting goals. And this time I'd say I was a little bit better in setting goals from the last year. I was not too ambitious. I was more realistic and it was just a fun experience and I'd like to tell you guys my goals so it's time to read them out. So before actually starting to plan my goals, I always set a theme for my year. So this year my theme is that girl and then I also write a little explanation about the theme and things in my mind. So it goes like that girl. I'm going to be that girl this year. I want to have the main character's energy. I want to be the main character of my story. I want to be top of all the things and areas of my life. I want to be the happiest I've been in all years. I will spend each day living as the main character of my story. 
that's there and then i had three prompts before actually starting to plan which was how do i want to grow in 2022 the next was what do i want to let go in 2022 and um, actually these are only two prompts i used and then i have my five main goals and then i have sections which are each and every area of my life and then i have my goals regarding to that and at the each of the section i have a question why do you want to achieve these goals if you don't have a why you're most likely to forget about your goals and you will not achieve them because you don't know the reason or why you are working towards it okay so let's get started with five of my goals my first main goal is getting straight A's while making studying enjoyable. Second is reaching 1000 subscribers while uploading quality and great content. The third main goal I cannot tell you guys right now. It is a secret but it will be out really really soon and I can't wait to share it with you all. So I can't really share that. I'm sorry. Just wait and you're gonna hear the secret and fourth goal is working on muscle gain so these days i'm working out and all that stuff so i want to get a little more stronger and all that stuff and my fifth goal is starting to earn and this is what i'm just going to do a little side hustle because i want to pay for my little things on my own so these are my five main goals and I will just tell you guys my sections which I have in other goals section. Okay, so first I have health goals, then I have career goals, then I have personal growth goals, then I have creative goals, and then I have financial goals, then I have relationships goals, then I have home goals, then I have self-care goals. So these are all the goals I have and there are a lot but the main five are like one of the most important and my main focus for the year next up i did the exercise called the perfect day this is where you structure and write how would your a perfect day in your life would look like what will you do when you wake up when will you wake up what things will you do what will we eat everything and this is such a fun exercise it helps you structure your day and also you can see how your perfect routine will look like etc and after that was done it was time to set my weekly daily and monthly habits and these include like planning making my bed and all that stuff and i'm adding new habits and also continuing my favorite and you know the life-changing habits i've adopted in 2021 Okay, the last and my most read part was making a vision board. So this is one of my favorite parts of planning because it's just so cool and fun process. So vision board is basically you collect the pictures related to your goals, to your vision, and then you assemble them in one place so you can make even a physical vision board or a digital vision board. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you and I made a digital one. It was super fun and vision boards makes you think what you really want and it also helps you get unstuck it makes you think okay do i want this and like that and i have like a whole video on how to make a vision board i will definitely link that down below and in the cards so yep and also i will post the picture of my vision board right on the screen so you guys can see it correctly and yeah it was super fun to make and i had a lot of fun and i'm in love with how it turned out so it's gonna be a great year hello you all i just wanted to make an announcement before i end this episode that Thank you so much for your support on this series. It has been amazing. And no, this is not ending of the series. It's going to be a continuous series. This was just the end of season one. And now from now on, the new episodes will be coming out every end of the month. And there will be other videos like other episodes of this series. But they are, you know, not scheduled. But every end of the month there will be a new episode of the series so i just wanted to make that clear and thank you so much for your support on this and i've got like a lot of your dms and comments and messages on instagram 
and all the stuff that telling me that this series is helpful to you that literally makes my day and i'm so happy to read it all i really appreciate it and you guys are amazing i love you all thank you so much for supporting this year it has been amazing and let's reach 1000 subscribers in 2022 i know we will do it and you guys are amazing and i will see you in the next episodes and next videos bye have a wonderful day